Hello everyone and welcome back. This is the uh, Emerson R167 from around 1937-1938. Again, the radio belongs to my dad. I told him I would look at it electrically, so uh, let's get started. Uh, just to let you guys know what I've done so far, I've uh, turned on the radio very cautiously and I brought the uh, AC line voltage up extremely slow and um, I have a uh, kilowatt meter plugged into the Variac so I can look at my uh, AC current. At the same time, I was uh, listening to the speaker output and there's just a little bit of distortion. You guys may be able to hear that there. So there's not much audio coming from the uh, receiver itself. Um, but I decided to uh, start over at the audio section and I want to show you guys on um, picture in picture, but I'm going to start looking for DC voltage at the plate of the Type 41 tube, which is pin number two. So if you guys follow along here in the picture in picture that I'm showing, um, you'll see my connection point. And then if you're looking here at the uh, again the DC voltage. You know, I'm not in good shape at all. So referencing the schematic, uh, with around 117 volts in, my plate voltage should be somewhere around 165 volts DC. So real quickly, troubleshooting wise, you can see I can troubleshoot at least this problem uh, just looking for uh, the loss of the DC voltage. So um, let's take a look next here on the schematic. We'll look and go back toward the uh, B plus power supply and look at another troubleshooting point to see if we have B plus and then we'll do a divide and conquer and uh, see what lies in between. Okay again we'll reference the uh, schematic here and we'll go back and we'll focus on the uh, Type 80, which is a full wave rectifier. And you can see here on the schematic, uh, what I'm showing again will be the tie in point from the uh, Type 41 output tube all the way back to the B plus side of the power supply, where you'll see your filaments from the Type 80 tube, which are pins number one and four. So we'll do a, a check for voltage at that point. And again, this is an unfiltered uh, DC, uh, kind of a rectified. But let's just make sure we've got uh, DC there. So well, let me grab the uh, meter here, lead. And again, my line voltage, I've got it set just a little bit low, uh, just as a safety net. But uh, again, this probably will not show up on camera, but uh, the Type 80 tube resides right here. It sits on the back, or excuse me, the bottom side of the uh, potentiometer here for the uh, volume and on and off. So I'm going to uh, connect right here to uh, pin number one. And you can see I have 134.7 volts. So let's just go back to the plate, and you can see uh, we're in trouble there. All right, let's take a look and see what's in between. Okay, um, you follow along here in the schematic. What I'm going to do, again, we've just verified the voltage there again off the uh, filament. Uh, four and one, right off the type 80. So we know we've got uh, rectified DC which is a good sign and you can see here and we're showing the picture in picture we'll come back up and let's take a look again at the type 41 tube and you can see I'm moving back up instead of going over to the plate I'm going to go over to pin number three which is grid number two so again I should have B plus voltage at that point and again this may not show up in camera but this is pin number one number two number three and you can see there that we do have uh, DC 133 
So again, let's go back to the plate. And we have nothing. All right, let's reference the schematic again and uh, see what lies in between. So again, if you're following along here in the schematic, you, again, we verified we had uh, DC voltage on pin number three, which is the uh, grid number two of the type 41 output tube. And so the missing link here, I'm showing. So what lies in between the plate and grid number two is the primary of the output transformer on the speaker. So uh, let's check the DC resistance. We'll look at the, uh, we already know the field coil is good, but we'll just check it, unplug this. Let me turn the power off. We'll do some DC measurements here and uh, see what we get. Okay guys, uh, let's take a look at it again. This speaker plug plugs in just like I'm holding it now, right here back, uh, male connector, female connector. And if I looked at everything correctly, these top leads here are going to be the fill coil, which shows on the schematic to be around 1800 ohms. And we know it's good because we've already got DC voltage. And you can see that showing up there on camera. I hope I'm reading uh, 1.839K, uh, which would be 1839 ohms. So the bottom two connections should be the primary back to the uh, output transformer. And that's not a good sign. Just make sure we've got a good connection here. So all indications are, and based on the DC voltage that we were looking at, again if you're looking at the schematic that I'm showing as well right now, the uh, primary side of this output transformer looks like it's open. Now it may merely just be a bad solder joint, a bad wire, so we're gonna have to dig this speaker out and uh, do some more uh, troubleshooting. See if we can find out why, if that is the case, that this is open. But let's do a little additional uh, troubleshooting. I've got my uh, Xena 5S29 speaker. I'm not really sure about the particular audio output transformer, but for giggles, let's uh, use it and see if we can bring the B plus voltage back on the radio and we can get any audio out of this radio whatsoever. So let me get this plug back in and grab my uh, Zenith 5S29 speaker and we'll jump some wires uh, just from here back over again to the primary side of the output transformer and do the same here and I'll just use the fill coil again that's good here and now let's see what we get okay guys so I've got the uh, uh, Zenith 5S29 uh, speaker just laying up here and again I'm going to just try to leverage the uh, output transformer for giggles so again um, working uh, safely here because there is DC and I'm going to um, make a uh, connection point here now back to the uh, primary side and I'm sh I'll show this again on the schematic what I'm doing and I'm going to uh, monitor the uh, DC voltage here again I'm tied back to uh, pin number two or the plate of the type 41 so we should see the voltage come up at this point I had already tested uh, at least DC resistance on uh, this particular uh, speaker and transformer it was good okay and you can see here again we've got uh, um, voltage there and now we don't it's about 134 volts so let's uh, crank this thing up and see what we get Well, it's making some racket. That's uh, better than what we had before we started. 
Again, the radio has not been recapped. I think, again, the 66 tube is going to be suspect. Um, I've always had problems with those anyway. Right, it's like I was trying to get a station there. Okay, sounds like there's a local station. i tell you what, I've got my uh, signal tracer here. Let's uh, hook it up and see what we get. And again, I'm going to come off of uh, plate 2. Or pin 2 on the, uh, which is the plate of the 41. Radio's got some serious birdies, you can tell, but... Okay guys, sorry about that. I know the audio is crazy loud, or it is in my ears anyway. But uh, I think it proves the point. The radio... Um, got a lot of trouble again it hasn't been recapped again we'll go back through the tubes again but uh, I'm gonna have to spend some time for sure and uh, dig into that uh, output transformer look at that primary side and see why it's all goofed up um, so it's definitely open so uh, hopefully this was helpful for those out there uh, troubleshooting again just a little uh, divide and conquer so again guys thanks for uh, watching I uh, Sorry about the audio there, but I think we got the idea that the radio itself is good, the transformer is good. Um, there's definitely some issues somewhere in the RF side. Again, we'll get this thing uh, recapped. We'll check all the tubes again. I'll uh, see what we got going on there. I'll do some uh, deeper dive there on that uh, transformer, uh, the output transformer, and see why it's open. Hopefully it's going to be something simple, cold solder joint, bad uh, lead wire or something we can easily repair. So again, I hope you found this helpful. I uh, appreciate you uh, watching.